Hello everybody, Jose Rodriguez here. I'm going to try to address a question that's quite often asked, and that is, can I take my image and print it onto an 8x10 final size, 5x7, 11x14, or letter size, without having to crop it from the original aspect ratio that my camera produced? And of course the answer is no, you cannot do that, unless you're going to distort the image, in other words, stretch it, or contract it in order to make it fit onto an aspect ratio that is not your native aspect ratio. So here we have a 2 by 3 or 3 to 2 aspect ratio image and let's just see what happens. Let's go ahead and send it over to print, turn off scale to fit, and it fits it as well as it can onto an 11 by 8.5 sheet of paper. And you can see that there are some wide borders on the top and bottom because of course this is a 3 to 2 or 2 to 3 ratio. So let's go ahead and explore what you really need to do in order to be able to print this to say 8 by 10. But first of all let's look and see what the actual size of this image is. At 240 pixels per inch it is a 10 by 6.186. Okay, and I already downsized this from the huge 24 megapixel file that I originally was using. Here it is set for 10 inches. Yes, we can reach that 10 inch part of the 8x10, but the narrow side is not going to be anything wider than 6.183. And that is set on stone. We cannot change that unless you're going to stretch it, like I said, or distort the image. So one way that we can crop this to be assured that we are actually cropping to an 8x10 proportion is to click on the crop tool and I already have it set to 5 to 4 and as you can see the crop tool is actually marking this image so that I can crop it to 4 to 5 ratio. And we can go ahead and shift it around. We do not need her elbow whatsoever. So we'll go ahead and crop it right here. This gives you enough leading toward the left, which is the direction that they are walking in. So this will be more than fine to go ahead and print from. We'll double click. And so now this has been cropped to the proper ratio to allow you to create that 8 by 10 you were looking for. So let's go ahead and print it. I'm going to click off scale to fit. And we're going to change this to 10 by 7.999. Wow, that's about as close as you can get to 8 by 10 if you ask me. So here we go. We have a perfectly centered 8 by 10 onto a letter size piece of photo paper. And this is exactly what the viewer wanted to know. Now, of course, what happened to the rest of the image? It had to be cropped. There's no way around that. There's no way you can avoid that. And you have to remember that. Keep that in mind. There is no way you can avoid that. So let's go back and we'll close this without saving it. And we will reopen it again. So now we're back to the original aspect ratio. Let's just say that you want to make an 11 by 14. So we will pick the printer settings and look to see if we do have an 11 by 14 preset. And down here in the photo series, it's 11 by 14. We click scale to fit, we click here, type in 14, that's the best we can do, okay? We will never be able to fit this as an 11 by 14 without any borders or at least with the minimal borders that the printer forces you to introduce. So again, the original aspect ratio determines the dimensions of any print you can make or the aspect ratio of any print that you can make. And if it does not fit onto that particular paper, you will have to live with borders. There's no way to get around that. All right, that is it. So just remember that you cannot simply magically fit this onto a particular sheet of paper that you happen to want to print on. So if you have a frame that's 8 by 10, you're just going to have to crop this somehow to 8 by 10. All right. If you want to print it to 5 by 7, you'll have to crop it to 5 by 7. Let's go ahead and do that real quick. As you can see, I lost quite a bit of the image. Again, 5x7 doesn't quite fit. So again, we'll crop it as well as we can. We'll go to print. We will choose 5x7 paper. 
I believe that might be located here as well. Here we go. And once it switches over to 5x7, we will click off the scale to fit. We'll type in 7. So we have 4.999 to 7. And that is it. You have a nice little border. Okay. You have to live with that unless you print it borderless. If you decide to print it borderless, it's going to expand the image even more to be able to print beyond those borders. That's what happens when you print borderless. So again, be very careful. and Don't be surprised if what you get is not what you see when you print borderless. Now when we stick to an actual paper size, yeah, that will work just fine. Okay, so this became slightly cropped. I want to bring that up. You see here, there's a little bit more space in that elbow because when you do not print borderless, the printer will impose a minimum border regardless. So even though we size this to 7 by almost 5, it's still going to impose that non-printable border which will further crop your image. Okay, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, and like. If you have any questions, please ask them below. And if you have any specific ideas for videos in this type of subject matter, just let me know and I'll put something together. All right. Happy printing, everybody. Bye-bye.